Safraz Ahmed and Mohammed Amir Photo Source Twitter at 26 Mohammed Amir has already had a really long career. He hasn't played a lot of matches but has been around for the most part of a decade. Amir entered the scene as a teenager, was sensational, got banned for five years, made a comeback and has been pretty ordinary since. His recent performances don't reflect the class he was touted to possess and then there were reports that the cricketer is planning on calling it quits from test cricket and wants to focus only on the shorter versions. However, Pakistan captain Safraz Ahmed has clarified that those reports are nothing but speculation and Amir isn't planning on retiring from tests. Amir has to date featured in 33 tests, 40 ODIs and 38 T20s for the Pakistan team and picked up 107, 57 and 47 wickets respectively. That wasn't entirely a work of imagination but the strings were pulled out from Amir's statement as he suggested that he might miss a few test matches in the next few years. Amir's indication, I can't roll back that lost time but I can manage my workload to extend my career as much as I can. With every passing day I'm getting older and I know fans want me to play. But if you look rationally I'm human and not an iron man. My passion is still there and I want to be there for fans, serving the country for a long time. I have played 30 tests so far. I think in the next few years I might miss a few and possibly I might end up with 50 tests, he had told ESPN Crick Info. He is only 26 Safraz put up his age as a justification and tried to point out that why would a 26 year old want to quit test cricket, he still has a lot of cricket left in him. He, Amir, is only 26 right now, so why would he leave Test Cricket? Safraz said during a press conference in Karachi. Amir's next assignment is the T20I Tri-Series in Zimbabwe that also involves Australia. He is also a part of the OD squad that will then play a five-match bilateral series against the hosts. For all the latest cricket news and other updates follow Cricktracker.